Hello, my name is Jim Roethlisberger. I'm a regional manager with Ritchie Brothers Auctioneers. Today we're going to talk about motor graders and what to look for when you're doing an appraisal. A motor grader is mainly used to finish grade, construct and maintain dirt and gravel roads, and prepare the base course for paved roads. When you're looking at a motor grader, something you should always write down is what the machine has been doing in its life. Whether it's been doing heavy construction work, moving heavy material around, or it's doing light finish grading on top of a finished road. It dictates how much wear has been put onto the machine. Appraisal should always start with a quick walk around the unit. Your main photo should always be taken at a 45 degree angle from the front of the machine. Beginning at the front of the machine, make note of any front mounted attachments. Then go to the front left tire, mole board, articulating joint, cab, rear tires, engine, rear attachments, then continue back to the front of the machine. Overall appearance of the machine will tell you a lot about the shape it's in. As you move around, check the frame looking for signs of damage, abuse, and wear, including rust, dents, welds, also, make note of any fish plating. You also should make note of any leaks in the cylinders and any engine or transmission leaks under the machine. Now let's take a closer look at some of the key areas for motor graders. Front mounted attachment for motor graders are things such as a push block, blade, and V-plow. Front mounted scare fires may be mounted in front or behind the front wheels. Make note of any rear attachment such as a ripper, snow wing, or windrow eliminator. Make note of tire size, condition, and percent remaining. Look for any tears and excessive damage to the sidewalls and treads. Take photo if necessary. An inspection of the A-frame, circle, and moldboard should be completed. Fish plating on an A-frame is a common sign of excessive wear and damage. Accumulators protect the moldboard from shocks and impacts. Look for fluid reservoirs above the moldboard or behind the cab. When appraising a motor grader, when you're looking at the mold board on the back side, there's a few things you want to look for. One is this main circle frame. Is there any breaks or cracks or welds in it? The teeth, are they all in one piece, none broken, none missing? When you get down here into the wear points in the slide, you want to look at the cylinder, make sure it's dry, make sure it's not pitted or cracked. Look in the main structure frame down here, is it all in one piece? And inside of here, there's be some wear plates here and here. This one here you can see is a little worn. It's wearing into the steel plate on the outside. So you want to get a photo of that make sure you indicate that on your appraisal. So this is the front of the mold board. There's a couple things we want to look at here when we're up front. One is the cutting edge. What kind of condition is this? Is it in? This is a fairly new one that's been put on. You want to look at the dozer face and see what kind of condition it is and how much wear is on it. Make sure all cutting edge bolts are present. The side rails at the top of the moldboard should be smooth without any impact damage. The articulating joint could be in front or directly behind the cab. Look for signs of wear in the articulating joint. So here we are on the front wheel assembly of a motor grader. There's a couple things you want to be looking for. One, we see all these hoses here that go down into this drive motor assembly which makes it an all-wheel drive. Something we need to note. This is this wheel lean assembly. We want to look at the cylinder, make sure it's all in good shape. Look at all the bushings, look for any excessive play, play or wear. We go down here to the steering cylinder. Same thing on this cylinder, we're looking for any leaks, any damage to it. And over here in this tie rod, we see it's in crooked and it looks like it's got some excessive wear and needs to be replaced. Something we should note when we're doing the appraisal. Inspect tandem housings, both sides, and look for damage, leaks, and welding or repairs. Depending on the make of the motor grader, there are two styles of cab, standard and low profile for easy transport. Check the condition of the sheet metal around the cab for structural damage or rust. Then examine the cab interior for overall condition. Make sure all safety systems are present and working. Instrument glass should be unbroken. Check to make sure that all switches, gauges, and controls are in good working condition. Make note of broken or missing glass and condition of operator seat. A photo should be taken of the hour meter and VIN plate. When inspecting the engine, be sure to also closely examine the starter, turbocharger, injector pump, and head gasket. Inspect a radiator hard nose enclosure for any damage and look for damage to the radiator cooling fins. When checking the exhaust stack, look for signs of rust. Check for any oil, coolant, and fuel leaks and be sure to take photos of any excessive leaks and or missing or damaged components. Thanks for watching and good luck in your next appraisal.